Hello Rust developers and welcome to another Gazebo in 5 minutes video provided by The Construct, a channel about Rust. I am Marco Arruda and in this video we will learn how to create a robot using your IDF and that's the part 2 we are going to talk about joints. But before anything else, let's talk about autonomous mobile robots. Uh, this is one of the most essential course for a robotics degree but the preparation for this kind of course you requires a lot of work. So in this free webinar we are going to show how you can teach this course effectively by using RAS based robot simulation. For more details please find the link in the description of the video and you can access this page to see all the information you need to know about the webinar and you can also subscribe to it for free of course. Okay, so now let's start with the video. So in order to do that, I'm going, I'm going to start from the previous project we have saved before, number H, okay, uh, where we have talked about how to see a robot in Arvis, okay, but today we are going to, to build another part of the robot, so we are going to use a joint. Let's do that. So you need to have the ID open, we are not going to use the notebooks, uh, a web shell, and also the graphical tools. So let's put it to the right side and the ID right here, just press the login button again and let's do that. So we have already a link of the robot, we are calling it link chases, this is the main part of the body of the robot, uh, as we are supposing this is gonna be a robot at the end of the tutorial, okay? So let's start launching the the robot Arvis visualization, so this is how you can do this. I'm gonna type the commands in the description of the video so you can just copy and paste at the end okay so in the graphical tools you can see that we have a fixed frame you have to select uh, the link chases as the fixed frame so we'll just type here link chases and then you can add the robot model there it is we have uh, our robot actually it's just a box so now let's go to the code. In order to have a joint, uh, well actually a joint is used to, uh, to bind two different parts of the robot, two links, okay? And you can check in this page, I'm gonna paste the link also in the description and you can uh, go further and see the kinds of joints you can use and all the options you have to use this new element of your RDF, okay? So let's start creating another link. I'm gonna copy, paste, and explain what we're doing. So that's the second link of the robot. Let me paste it. I'm calling it link arm, okay? You have also to define the pose of the arm of the link, uh, the inertial properties, uh, inertia, mass, and the origin. Finally, the collision and visual parts. For instance, we're using the same values for both, okay? And then in order to have our robot, you cannot just have two spare links in a URDF code. You need to have, you must have a joint between the, those links, okay? And this is exactly what we're going to do right now. So let me paste it. And what do we have here? So we are defining a joint. We are giving it a name. I'm calling it joint number one. And this is a continuous joint, okay? You can check here in this page uh, the types of joints and the main difference between all of them, okay? The properties you can use and etc. So then you have to define the origin of the joint. So I'm defining it to be on the right side um, uh, from my perspective. On the right side of the chases of the robot, I'm defining X position and Z position, so Y is equals to zero because I want to, this to be in the middle of the robot, uh, looking at this the side of the robot, okay? And that's the most important part of a joint, okay? So you have to define the parent link, in this case, this is link chases, and just to make sure you can do like this, double click, copy and paste, because this name must be the same as you have defined it here in the, in the link tag, okay? and also for the child link. So just copy and paste to make sure you have the same name and this part of the limit, you can set it later, but we're not gonna talk about it 
in this video, so let's just erase it for instance. Now, uh, okay, wrong click. So just go to the shell, cancel the process, control C, and relaunch RVs. Let's check the graphical tools. Okay, so here we have, uh, you have to set again the fixed frame, link chases, and then you can add here robot model. There it is. We have a kind of an arm in the side of the robot, in the side of the chases. Okay, so you can define, you can change the position of the arm uh, right here because we are defining it uh, here in the in the joint position. Okay, so for example, if you want it to be um, uh, to put it uh, more close to the to the center of the robot, for example, you can just uh, change the the Z value right here. So let's relaunch it. And this way you can debug and change the properties of the robot. Okay. Uh, basically, we are going to use Arvis to do that because it's not worth it to, to simulate the robot every time you want to change its model because you are just uh, trying to see the model you are creating. You don't want to simulate physics and etc. All this kind of stuff. Okay. So that's all for today. Did you like the video? Uh, please leave a comment in the comments section below so we can interact and learn from each other. If you want to learn more about ROS URDF, please let us know on the comments area and you do a video about it. Okay? Uh, see you!